Hi there, I am making this video to help you with uh, the written assessment for unit LVO 2.1K. The first question relates to light vehicle engine construction and part A, as you can see here, is state two reasons why most vehicle engines are multi-cylinder. So to be able to answer this question, it's important that we understand inertia force. Inertia force is a force acting on objects which gives them a tendency to retain their present state of motion. So if they're moving, they want to keep moving. If they're stationary, they want to stay stationary. Let's have a look at this video here. What you're going to see is uh, the, the car is moving and the driver is moving inside the car. So they're both moving. Uh, Inertia is a force acting on both of them, which, which means that they want to tend to keep moving. When the car hits the wall, it stops suddenly, but the driver doesn't because of the inertia force acting on him or her. So how does that relate to engines? Let's consider uh, the forces acting on a piston as it accelerates up and down inside the cylinder. It starts at top dead centre. It will start from a standing start and then accelerate quickly downwards. Then it slows and stops. What this means is that the piston is subjected to considerable inertia forces on its journey up and down inside the cylinder. Now these images show how a multiple cylinder engine tries to balance those inertia forces. The inertia forces on the two pistons moving upwards are counteracted or balanced by the inertia forces acting on the two pistons moving downwards. So we're counteracting and balancing those inertia forces. So force is equal to mass times the acceleration, the rate of acceleration of an object. What this means is that we can reduce the amount of inertia force if we can manipulate the mass or the rate of acceleration. So Let's think about a two litre engine. Now we could have a single cylinder two litre engine and it would have a fairly large piston, which in turn would mean that it's quite heavy. It would have a large mass. So as a consequence, it would have large inertia forces acting on that piston. If though we were to take uh, multiple pistons, so in this case I'm drawing four pistons, that would equate to a two litre engine. By definition, the mass of each of those smaller pistons is much less, and therefore they, each piston would have less inertia force acting on it. So to summarise, having a multi-piston engine allows us to have pistons with a smaller mass and therefore each piston will be subjected to a reduced inertia force which is a good thing and it also allows us to have pistons moving in different directions so that whatever inertia forces the pistons are being subjected to they can be counteracted by the fact that the pistons are moving in different directions so your engine will be running a lot, lot smoother. Also, having a smaller mass piston, so uh, less weight, means that the pistons are able to move much quicker, accelerate much quicker. So your engine revs higher, revs freely, responds much better. When the driver puts his or her foot down on the accelerator, the engine will rev up quickly, it's much nicer to drive, it's much more responsive. Okay, there's some ideas for you. 
Maybe it helps.